with the incredible efficacy that we have with covalent BTK inhibitors, they are certainly going to remain a integral part of our treatment armamentarium in, in CLL. Even the next generation BTK inhibitors, like calibrutinib and xanabrutinib, have cardiac toxicity above background. Now, certainly they have been um, shown to have more favorable toxicity profiles than abrutinib, and so that's great. Uh, if we had better tools that were standardized at maybe predicting the patients that might be more at risk for cardiovascular uh, outcomes like atrial fibrillation and, and even more, more, the more dangerous potential ventricular events, um, that would be, that would be of, of, of particular importance because we could, in theory, choose to maybe treat those patients with BCL2 inhibition as a priority, for example.